here with head coach Mark Carson. Happy camper today. <laughs> I've got to be two wins today over a rival Northeast. There was something about it today. Our, our group stayed up from the beginning of the game to pregame, and, and we just carried that same momentum the entire game. So talk about just you know how fired up this group was today. Well, uh, it goes back. You know, we had a, re a really bad outing Monday against Jackson State, and uh, we came back in here Tuesday, and we had about an hour-long team meeting before practice started. And we kind of set, set some boundaries as far as things we were going to do during a ball game, things we're not going to do. Our practices this week were probably an hour and 20 minutes, but they were an hour and 20 minutes uh, full tilt. Uh, structured very well with some things we were trying to do that, that, that I think really aided us. It made uh, everything so much more effective. Uh, it was full tilt. It's almost like a wide open football practice. But, uh, and, you know, and I thought we carried that into the ball game the other night at East Mississippi. Two big wins down there on the road. And then to come back in here today, uh, I just think it just it, it just carries on. You know, winning uh, winning does that. And uh, when you find some success for some things, I think that I think that's some of the things you credit to it. Well, two quality starts today on the mound: Torres yeah. Hervey in Game One and Chris Casto in Game Two. Definitely gives you a better chance to win. Uh, seven to two winner in the opener, and it really wasn't that close. We went up seven right. nothing. You had mentioned you know we'd like to put them away a little bit earlier, gave yeah. them two two late runs. But right. uh, let's go to the second game, three to two. It had a lot of a lot of excitement in that second game. A little bit of controversy. We we'll want to talk about that for a second. But uh, there's a play where there's runners at first and second, and uh, maybe let you talk about it, where Carlisle uh, laid down a tag and didn't have the ball, and a lot of different stuff yeah. ensued. So can you kind of tell me about what yeah. happened there? Well, it was a, it was a, certainly a bunt situation. They were trying to bunt two runners over and make it a one run game, and. And, uh, and Jeremy, of course, made the attempt to make the catch and make the tag. Of course, he didn't have the baseball. And so uh, when he reached back to get the baseball to make the throw to first, we ended up getting the out. But their argument was is that he interfered with the runner because he made physical contact with him and didn't have the baseball. And, you know, and it, it's just an argument of could they have called obstruction? Probably. But it was a situation where Jeremy didn't have the ball. And, and so it's just a tough call. Well, also with him, he made a heck of a play, falling yeah, off on his did. back, and makes a great throw to get the out. But uh, you know, we improved to eight and two in the conference yeah. now, sixteen and eleven overall. Um, you know, similar situation last year where we started off hot in the conference yeah. and then just kind of tailed off at the end. What do we have to do to keep the momentum going? I think you just got to keep working hard at it, and you got to, you know, you got to come out here. It's like we told him the other night. It's not going to be easy. You're not going to walk out here and people just uh, are going to be easy wins. Those days are gone. Uh, the parity in this league is incredible. And I think every day you go out there, you got to go hard like we've been doing. And I think those, I think good things happen when you do that. But it's, uh, you know, you just, you'd hope this carries over. Uh, you know, you get a day off tomorrow. Uh, some of the guys are tired. We've had, we've had that long road trip, and, and then being out here all day today, they are a little tired. So we get them, get their feet back on them tomorrow. And, Hope it spills over. We've got to go back on the road. Tough game in Itawamba, and uh, that'll be tough. But, yeah. uh, but it'll be a lot of fun. Things don't get any easier, of no. course. There's a lot no. of road games here towards the end. Played yeah. a lot of home games at the beginning. So yeah. uh, you mentioned the Itawamba next week, a team that was you know ranked in the preseason and has tailed off a little bit, but uh, still a tough out every time when you go down to their place. So talk about what we need to do to pick up a pair of wins there. Well, it, they'll be a good club. Well coached. They do a good job over there, and uh, that's our, our our big uh, rival, I think. And and I, I feel like it'll be one of us maybe that compete for that North, and that's what we're shooting for you know I don't think you do anything special I think you go over there and you just play play good baseball you do the things we've been doing the last four or five ball games and uh, and I think good things will happen I, I think the other thing is you got to get good starts which we've done now for about 10 times in a row and I think we go over there with our two guys and get good two quality starts and I think that always gives you a chance to win of course you got to take advantage of, of uh, miscues and and do those things but I think we will I think we'll play hard and I know they'll play hard because it'd be such a big ball game it'll be a good atmosphere over there a big crowd uh, of course, one of the games will be under the lights, so that'll be a lot of fun. Well, congratulations on the two Thank victories you. today over Northeast. Now 11-4 and four at home on the season. Good luck next week. Thank you very much.